Am I the only one who wonders what it would be like if Amir Khan was trained by William Shatner? This is Rummy's Corner. Conch hire Shatner, he and his entourage. I just have him running around the whole time screaming, Conch! Conch! Premier boxing champions returned to Spike TV Friday night when Amir Khan looked to showcase his talents against Chris Algieri. This was a fight where Khan was really hoping to elevate his status for the September Floyd Mayweather sweepstakes. When I first heard about this fight, I thought that Khan would be all wrong for Algeria. I thought he had the right type of skills, the right style, that he would win a pretty one-sided fight, kind of like he did against Paulie Malignaggi several years back. But it didn't wind up that way, and I don't think it was because Khan did anything out of character or that he regressed or anything like that. I think it had more to do with the fact that Chris Algieri once again proved he's a game fighter who always comes to fight. And he put up a very good fight. Uh, he occasionally was showing some really good timing and he caught Khan and for a guy that's not known for power, Algieri rocked Khan a few times and definitely caught him with some well-timed punches. Khan, for his part, he did his thing, he threw his combos. He won a unanimous decision. I, I thought the scorecards were a little wide. I personally had it 115-113 for Khan. Uh, a lot of people thought it could have been a draw or a win for Algeri, and I guess I could see that because it was a close fight, but I thought that Khan maybe was being held to some high standards in this one, and maybe some people were giving Algeri the benefit of the doubt in rounds that he kept close but didn't actually win. In any case, after the fight, Amir Khan made clear what he wants to do next. Look, I think everybody knows Amir Khan wants to fight Floyd Mayweather. I mean, that's what we want next. And you look, I'm the number one WBC. Mayweather is the champion, so let's make it happen. The question becomes, does Amir Khan bring anything to the table that will seriously trouble Floyd Mayweather Jr.? A lot of people seem to think his speed and his quickness are things that will trouble Floyd, but I think they're wrong. I really don't think Khan brings anything new to the table that Mayweather hasn't seen before, and I don't think Khan poses much of a challenge to Mayweather at all. The thing of it is, Khan is susceptible to good timing. His chin is always a topic of discussion. Amir Khan has a bad chin, he can't take a punch, and I don't think that those criticisms are necessarily fair. Khan has shown an ability to take a good punch in the past. And Khan is the type of guy who's very well conditioned and he has pretty good recovery powers when he does get badly hurt. The worst thing that Khan does when he gets hurt is he's more apt to fire off a combination than to reset, clinch, clear his head, do what he needs to do to survive. But forgetting that, Khan is the kind of guy susceptible to timing. He showed it against Chris Algieri. Timing is Khan's nemesis. Not power, but time. And Floyd has better timing than anybody in the business. I don't think Amir can deal with that. I think that Floyd's the type of guy that will catch Khan repeatedly with punches he doesn't see coming, and those are the type that Khan seems to react to the worst. And as for his speed and his athleticism and his quickness, and all these things that a lot of people seem to think Khan possesses attributes that will trouble Floyd, I didn't really see that on display against Chris Algieri this past weekend. If anything, Khan's combination punches seem to lack the same snap and authority they previously possessed in my estimation. I think the speed was still there, although I've heard others claim he looked slower in this fight. But I think it was a lack of zip on his combination punches in particular as opposed to his single shots, which I think maybe Khan should utilize a little bit more of the single shots and a little less combination punching, even though that would make him less exciting, I think it would make him more effective. Be that as it may, 
I don't think Khan brings anything to the table. I think, and I've always been convinced that Floyd Mayweather would knock out Amir Khan if they ever fought. Seeing this fight Friday night, I'm more convinced of that than ever because of the timing factor and because of how good Floyd looked. You know, ordinarily, I don't adhere to triangle theories or things that compare common opponents, but in this particular case, I think the analogy of how Pacquiao did versus Algieri to how Pacquiao did against Floyd, I think there's a strong parallel between how Khan did against Algieri compared to how I expect Khan would do against Floyd. Difference is, Pacquiao dominated Algieri and knocked him down a bunch of times, whereas Khan really edged it out against Algieri. So after this weekend's performance, does Amir Khan deserve a fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Well, as William Money, portrayed by the great Clint Eastwood, said in the early 90s, Deserves got nothing to do with it. Whether he deserves the fight or whether the fight might actually happen, those are two different questions. And I don't think Khan deserves it, but I think he very well might get it. If I was Floyd Mayweather Jr., I'd be doing everything in my power to secure a rematch with Miguel Cotto, assuming he gets by Daniel Gill this weekend, which is definitely not a given. But if he did, going for that middleweight title is something that will add to Floyd's legacy, and it's definitely something that'll help add to his bank account. But there's a chance that's not gonna happen. And I've always known that, and for whatever reason, I just always assume as long as he kept winning, that Amir Khan would be the number one backup plan and, or even the number one plan that's not a backup. So I think that Khan might land this fight in September and if he does, I think it'll be a dominant way, a dominant victory for Mayweather. We'll just have to wait and see. This is Rumsfeld, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more episodes in the future. Khan, you've got Genesis, but you don't have me. You are going to kill me, Khan. You're going to have to come down here. You're going to have to come down here.